Well, we talked a little bit about aconite already. So we were going along, which is the east wind, sudden shock. Uh, very sudden, very acute. Very good example to understand what acute is all about. Life or death situation, you feel, this is it, I'm going to die. Major remedy in earthquakes. Because, you know, everything's falling in on top of you. Collapse. high level of inflammation, irritation, red, extremely red. Is one possible reaction. There's another which is numbing out. We were talking earlier about the three responses to a shock situation. One can either fight or flight or numb. And, um, and aconite um, does, has a lot of fright, but very little fight or flight. There's a lot of fright and numb. Numbness and tingling. Tingling is what happens when the numbness stops, you know. First you go numb and then you tingle as you come back to life. So numbness and tingling and fright and death, the key pictures of aconite. Very severe situation. I think 9-11. There, you know, there were 3,000 aconite situations there. All happening at once. The numbness around that place was amazing for months afterwards. I speak from personal experience, because we've been there. That was the feeling, shock, numbness. And people were wandering around in this numb silence looking at it. And one felt a kind of crazy voyeurism. I don't think it was that though. I think it was people responding in an aconite way to an aconite situation. 